Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be crafting Ella's Christmas Eve box. I thought it would be a nice idea just to make one up for her and it would be a bit of fun for me to do something for her, a little personal box for Christmas. So I've just picked up this little box from Hobbycraft and I've got a few things that I've picked up to decorate and make a little special Christmas Eve box for Ella to put in all of her Christmas Eve goodies this year. So I'll just go ahead and get started and let you see how I got on. Also picked up some gold spray paint from the pound shop. I've got these little festive flowers I picked up from the pound shop as well. I've got a nice big hessian bow from Hobbycraft that I picked up for a pound. And I've got this little holly spray that, I, that was also from the pound shop. I also picked up these like, nice little buttons for just adding to the box. I've got some gold foil letters and numbers just for writing messages on it. And lastly, I picked up these little wooden letters and these were a pound each from Hobbycraft. So I've also got some gold glitter that I used for Ella's birthday letters. This is some normal PDA glue that you use at school. You'll also need a glue gun just for quickness. We'll put all these to one side because we don't need them just now. And the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and get started painting this box. you have to actually go and buy paint um, and you've not got any in the house already so you have to go and get some then I would just I would recommend that you just buy a spray paint and do this outside because it will save you so much time. Okay so my box is all dried now um, and so have the little glitter letters so they've turned out quite well. So they're nice and sparkly, there will be some fallout from them but that's just to be expected, that will just wear off over time I think. I've kind of done my arrangement already. And then using these little stickers that I picked up, so I've just written on this Christmas Eve box and then I've got an apostrophe and an S next to the Ella and I'm just going to go ahead and stick all of these down. The big Hessian bow I'm going to put on the front here on the box like that but it had these big dangling um, tires from the bottom so I've kind of cut them off and I'm going to reuse them going around the sides here so we'll glue them on as well. I tried to spray those little button things that I had with the gold spray paint that I had from the pound shop but it says here that it's ideal for spraying on trees, pine cones, foliage, paper and frames but it's, it wouldn't even dry in, so that's a waste of money, don't pick that up. So what I've done is I've separated the little button thing from the peril and I'm just going to use the little perils themselves and stick them along the front of here just to add a nice little edger on the box. I've taken one of these little flowers, I'm going to put that on here somewhere at the bottom and then I've separated one of the holly leaves and the little berries from the bigger spray that I've got. I'll probably use that somewhere else. I'm just going to use this little sprig and pop it at the top of the box and I'm just going to start sticking all of this down. So that's all of those stuck down so far and these little button things have been stuck down too. I don't know if you can see them just because the light's quite bright but those little buttons are all stuck down. Ella's name is stuck down. Quite nice inside. And I'm just going to start sort of decorating it now. So the first thing would be to put on this nice big bow on the front. So I'm just going to glue that on. The next thing I was going to do was add these parts going around the side. So I'm going to try and tuck these behind the bow and then just sort of finish them right on the edge. This part here, what I want to do is just try and put these little bits of holly 
I don't know what way to do it. No, I'll do it like this. In fact, I think I'm gonna actually remove these from each other because that would maybe be easier just to arrange them. So I'll just stick the leaves down first. And the last part was just to pop these on. This looks like that. And I want to put a flower down here. In fact, I think I'll put the flowers on the side because I quite like how simple this is on top. I can always add on another couple of bits of holly here, but I think we'll put these on the side. So that's the flowers added on the side now at each side and I decided to add another little sprig of holly and berries on this corner here. That's Ella's Christmas Eve box. I'm really really pleased with it. It's quite simple, it was really really easy to do. Most of the stuff I just collected from the shops and stuck it on. Nothing inside it yet but that'll be on my next video. So. Stay tuned for that to find out what I'm going to put inside and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video where I'm getting a bit more crafty then let me know because it is something that I enjoy doing. There's plenty more things with the nursery coming up that I could maybe try and make myself. I'm going to link where I got everything from in the description box below and also I think roughly I'm trying to work out how much this cost me. The box was 15 and the letters were pound each, so 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 pounds it came to, so um, you could probably get one made for that, but I just thought it was nice to have made one myself for it for the sentimental value, but I'm quite happy with how it looks just now, and stay tuned for the video of what I'm going to put inside. Thank you very much for watching, bye!